going for gold in 2009, and here's an example of what I mean by going for gold. It can be going for gold in sport, in your personal relationships. It can be going for gold in your business and in the things that matter most to you. In order to do well, you've got to put in a tremendous amount of hard work. If you want to beat those Russians and the comrades, you've got to do 160 to 200 kilometers of training every week. You also, by the way, have to have selected your parents with great care. We as Africans did. If Mrs. Plez hadn't been our parent, we wouldn't be here on this planet. You have to use a lot of great teamwork. It's impossible to achieve anything great on your own. A lot of people always say to me, but Bruce, marathon runners are the epitome of the individual achiever. You're the guys who are supposed to have that bumper sticker on the back of your car that says marathon runners do it on their own. They don't. They actually keep it up longer, but that's a separate adult discussion for later on. And I'm going to explain that from time to time you have setbacks. You get injuries. You get that dodgy Achilles heel. You get that moment in your business where the big deal you thought would happen doesn't happen. And it's how you get around that by using fussbait, teamwork, great leadership, and turning at the end to an understanding of that it's an ongoing process and there is, in fact, no end and it's really something that has to keep on and on going. And there's a very good running shoe poster that sums it up for all of us. It says, for winners, there is no finish line.